Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the next update. I wish I had more for you. Uh, we're sanding again, so, you know, it's a lot of work uh, getting everything uh, sanded. Um, but we'll show you what we're doing and what we're working on and uh, some of the things to uh, look forward to. So, stay tuned. So, here's what uh, a good sanding job uh, gets you. Um, I don't think the camera does this justice, but it looks pretty nice. This is kind of the finish uh, that will be on this part and a lot of the parts on the car, at least in the short term, uh, before we paint it. And then uh, it'll also allow us to stand back and look at it and say, hey, maybe we want to keep that look. So the window surround is looking good. What's not looking so good is my windshield experiment. So uh, my experiment, I think, is now a bust. Um, even though I was able to cut one of them successfully um, before I actually uh, cutting the sides down uh, successfully before I started cutting the bottom and it failed. Uh, the latest one I got maybe two inches into the cut and it just started snapping. So anyway, uh, I think uh, one of the things that we can do here in Colorado is we can use a Lexan, Lexan uh, windshield. So um, I'm investigating that. I um, also have somebody who's looking into what would fit this opening uh, the best. So obviously I don't have access to a database of windshields, but uh, I found somebody who does. And so they're looking up these dimensions to see if they can find anything. So I'll let you know uh, which route we go. Um, but uh, I think for now we're probably gonna do a Lexan windshield and then obviously Lexan or polycarbonate uh, can scratch quite easily. So we're going to have to do something about that. And I'm investigating some of the coatings that people are putting on those Lexan windshields. So at any rate, uh, that's an ongoing uh, pain in my rear end. But uh, I think it's a solvable problem. So we're not going to definitely not going to give up. Other thing we've been doing is uh, sanding off we flatted out the fins, um, so we got them uh, nice and flat in epoxy. Uh, what you see on there is just some of the detritus that'll wipe right off. So um, those are looking pretty good. Uh, we're kind of sanding down some of the uh, more egregious drips and runs, and then uh, we'll get that all done. And then there's some repairs I need to make where I kind of blew through the carbon fiber a little bit, but that's actually quite easy to do. And I'll show you how those repairs go. But this is uh, getting close. So um, I think maybe by next update, we should uh, be able to clear this and uh, get it back on the car. Uh, the other thing that I've done is uh, worked on the roof section. So I've welded it all together. It's a nice stable uh, structure, uh, nice and strong. And now we're uh, doing some of the body work on it and trying to get the shapes on one side looking like the shapes on the other side trying to keep it all nice and symmetric and then get it nice and smooth before we put a layer of carbon fiber on and uh, it'll be of the same uh, type of weave that we have there but uh, there's some other parts that we're gonna do something a little bit different on and we'll see how this experiment goes uh, we're gonna take these guys and I've watched some people do uh, what they call forged carbon fiber. Um, really all it is is taking some of the excess mat, which we have over there, and chopping it up into little pieces, and then uh, putting a layer of epoxy on the part, and then coating it in these uh, little pieces uh, nicely, and then putting epoxy over that. Um, it's a pretty nice look. Um, take a look at this picture. So that's kind of what we're going for. So we'll see if we can actually achieve that look because I want a little bit of contrast between uh, the scoops and the body panels. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, again, you know, the whole car is an experiment, right? Uh, so uh, anyway, that's kind of it for now. Uh, last time, um, I think uh, I have decided that we are going to keep these guys because they do show off the 3D uh, printing part of the project so I'm going to clean these up and just uh, epoxy over them and clear coat them 
and uh, I think it'll be nice to be able to point to something and say, see, there's, there's the th part of the 3D printed car. But uh, anyway, that's where we're at uh, with uh, most of this. I know sanding's boring, so I'm not going to bore you with a lot of that. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I just want to show you guys the results uh, of uh, all that hard work. And uh, we also finished uh, 3D printing uh, these vent uh, covers. So I think they turned out pretty cool. Uh, we'll uh, put uh, some epoxy on those and um, clear coat them. And then we'll uh, mount them in there. So. They're looking, uh, looking pretty good. License plate goes in the middle, obviously. Um, so that's, uh, that's, uh, basically what we're doing with the 3d printing is, uh, getting these grills done. So we're going to be 3d printing some more of them and we're going to keep on going. So again, thank you guys, uh, for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, we're going to be coming out, uh, with a video and reviewing a product. Uh, so look for that. Um, that should be coming out in the next uh, couple of weeks uh, where we've been asked uh, to uh, review an automotive product and uh, we'll, we'll take a look at it and, and uh, give you guys the uh, down low on that. So anyway, uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.